Welcome to the Jordan Banks Show, y'all. I am Jordan Banks, the king of urban podcasts, y'all. It don't get no better. I see you here with me. I'm there with you at the same time. Every week, y'all, we bringing it to you. Our opinion. This is where they do that at. But I ain't never alone, fam. I got real fam with me. Because everybody did one. Because, because of the building. What it do, boy? Because of the building. Because up in the building. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Can't say it no more plain than that. Man. What's up, man? What's how your week going, cuz? Oh man, not bad, man. The people try to bring you down, but I'm gonna stay up no matter. Yeah, man. You got you got to stay up. You got to keep fighting. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Man, you know. Yeah, I know, man. People in the world today, man, they they go through so much. Uh, Something else, man. Yeah, they they let their emotions make decisions for you and stuff like that. And but yeah. hey. You got to stay up. You got to stay positive. Yeah, they, they be really emotional about a lot of things. But, I mean, I guess I, sometimes you can blame them. Sometimes you can't. You just right. I say don't put your emotion on me, man. I exactly. ain't did nothing to you. I ain't did nothing to you. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know what nigga you're mad at. <laughs> yeah, this ain't the right, nigga. Right. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't he. he. Yeah, keep it where it's at. You know what I mean? I ain't <laughs> he. So... Because we're going to move... You know, we're going to move on to the show. We got a bunch of calls here from the producer. Uh... I flash through of it, man. You know, we always say we want to start with some positive because there's a lot of old negative in the world, and we don't want to. Hey, we don't want y'all to think we just harping on the negative, right? Right. So we got some positive, y'all. All right. Let's this is black it. excellence at its finest, and we've been talking about this woman every week, man. But Coach Don Staley, congratulations, man. Contract, yeah. Highest paid college female coach in the country, twenty two point four million dollars. Come on. Hey, Come on, I got. That's, that's what's I got to give it up to your coach. That's what's up. I got to give it up to your coach. That's what's up. But uh, Don Staley is truly. She's being recognized for something and finally getting them funds for it. Right. You know, the salary roughly is is it's like a million dollar base salary a year with all the incentives and other perks. Right. Right. Uh, so it's it's an extended deal for her. Give her family some security being there in South Carolina. Uh, so uh, big up to her, man. Man, you know that lady has, has been doing it. Uh, you know, I love did it, State, did it on the college level, pro yeah. level, and do you know they have a uh, award mm. named after her in 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 media? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Don Staley Excellence Award. Yeah, man, man. She, she personifies excellence, like truly yeah. somebody who's an inspiration for uh, young black girls, not just black girls, but all girls. Absolutely, she is truly uh, amazing. Like you say, like you say, man, we've been watching her since high school, college, man. everything, man, and she has always brought excellence wherever always, she. Man. Never in no big controversy. No, nah. Nah. nah, stay clean. Nah, program clean. Well, hey, we giving you your flowers today. Big ups to you. Yeah, Congratulations. big ups, baby. Big ups. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> uh, we're on to the foolishness. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess it's you know it's black excellence. It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> Glorilla visit the White House. <laughs> she said she did what? Glorilla went to the White House. You know they had a women's and excellence kind of thing, and oh, okay. she was invited. Look, they, you know, Glorilla was looking good, man. Hmm. She 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 got them new teeth in there looking good. That's what's up. Got them old breasts sitting up. Got a little surgery looking good. Yeah. She ain't went to the BBL. I'm glad she ain't do that because you really don't need to. She's small, but you don't need all that on She you. woke up sleepy Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joe was like, no, nah, you, you, you. <laughs> yeah, Glow. <laughs> yeah, Joe. So it's all black excellence. Hey, that's what's and, up. You know, Kamala was there shining. You know, they just spotlighting women and, and, and everything. So that was a good thing, man. Congratulations to Joe. Congratulations to Glow. Now, that is one of the positive things that I've yeah. seen with this uh, Administration. Women's, women's movement mm. over the last few years is they are taking the time out for the ones that are doing good to yeah. really uh, highlight them. And I love that part of recognize it. Recognize them. Exactly. You got to recognize our women, man. Our women have been strong. Our women have been here. They've been behind us for a long time. So Absolutely. So to all y'all out there, man, y'all doing y'all thing. Hey, Keep on doing it. to you. Absolutely. Yeah, hey, man. I ain't like that. I don't mind a woman doing her thing. You make more than me. <laughs> I can stay at home, water the plants, feed the dog. Take care of the chili. I guarantee you, I have a cooked meal for you. I, ain't, <laughs> I don't care if it's ready rice or sloppy Joe. <laughs> you gonna eat? <laughs> <laughs> door dash it. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be there. You ain't gotta do it. It's there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, but uh, going on to some old old stuff, man. I tell you what, <laughs> <laughs> special prosecutor Nathan Wade down there and that Fonnie Willis boy to way down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> he stepped down from the Trump case. 
I but think it was that, a good thing. that allows for Fani to go on. Right. You know, he didn't want to be a distraction no more. And the judge really gave her a choice. Either you step you down or he'll step down. Right. And he, he, he did the manly thing. That, that's what he should have did. That's that's what's up. Yeah. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Step out the way. It's bigger than that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. But I tell you what, if I was Trump, you didn't took I'm Fani boy to it. <laughs> you, you, Trump, you don't want no black lady pent up and frustrated with all. Woo-hoo. I feel sorry for you, brother. Hey, he, <laughs> so somebody, he like messing with people. You better fire her now, <laughs> cause he she like gonna take all that out of you, bro. Yeah, yeah but absolutely. Mm. Got a whole new focus now. <laughs> oh, she she raised she laser focused right now. <laughs> you took her. Yeah. Gonna get this over with so I can get back doing what I'm doing. <laughs> See, finally, I'd have kept it all legit. Mm-hmm. I'd have kept it all under the radar. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> hire me as a special investigator. <laughs> but uh, so speaking of presidents and uh, Joe Biden uh has proposed. That's why I like man Joe. Joe wasn't handling business, man. I, I don't know what people saying his age. Da 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 da. He has proposed proposed an additional four hundred dollars a month credit. To new homeowners, regular homeowners, people that want to upgrade their home over the course of the next two years to put towards their mortgage. Yeah, that's what's $400. up. Four hundred dollars. That is what's up. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, the people that you got losing houses and run down houses. Yeah, man. man. Yeah. So people people be on Joe about this and that and that. But I tell you, it's since Joe been in there, man, he been taking care of business. You know, you can't what, deny. they own them because of you know yeah. he that that middle class. He helping them out. Yeah, yeah. And the, the rich don't need help, but mm-hmm. the middle class and poor people, he helping them out. And yeah. that's what they don't like. You got to be a president for all Americans, yeah. not, not just a special interest. Now, don't get me wrong. You got some poor people out there mm-hmm. that probably don't deserve the help. But since you can't weed them out, yeah, hey, you got to do what you got to do because everybody the, else don't deserve it for the greater good. Yeah, absolutely. So. That's what it's about, man. Yeah. So keep doing your thing, Joe. Well, in, in very sharp contrast, <laughs> <laughs> at this Ohio rally this past weekend, oh forty five. <laughs> Trump told y'all, uh, and no, it wasn't no mix up in the words. Mm-mm. He ain't mixing words. He mad right now. He never do. That mother said, "If I don't win in November, it's gonna be a bloodbath." Just like he did with uh, January six. Under no uncertain terms. He said it's gonna be now. You ass lose and you start that shit again. <laughs> It'll come get you for real. But he he said uh, no, no uncertain terms, baby. It's going down. Let me not win in November. I man, you know what? See what y'all will see what happens. I, I don't understand the logic hey. of people, man. I hmm. really don't. They How steal. is it that a man can sit there and get up on the stage? He can he can lie. He can cheat. He can steal. But he's making America great again, <laughs> because because secretly, and I'm gonna tell you something. I saw an interview with uh, Carson Tucker. He was interviewing uh, was it Don Lemon or or or, or, or maybe it was Bill Moore, and, and 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 you know Tucker Carson, one of the more MAGA people, and he said the quiet thing out loud, mistakenly. White people are afraid they're gonna be the minority. That's where all this come from, white men. Because there are surveys that say, not surveys, there are uh, analysts and predictions and things that say about like 2060, 2090, whatever, mm-hmm. white men will be the minority. And not even the last, because we still going to be minority, but they're going to be, you know, the country's going to be so mixed. Right. That's what they're afraid of. But the problem is, you don't have to be afraid of us. They're like, we're going to come pull them into slavery. Right. They so scared. Of they just, that, they just scared they're not gonna be on top no more. That's that's the, just a fear yeah. of not being on top. Well, they they, they colonizers. They right. go around the world colonizing and destroying and killing it. Every time I see Trump rallies, it's so funny to me how they talk about people coming in the border mm. and and they they bribing and doing it. Well, this country was stolen. True. I've said it plenty of times. You killed all the indigenous people. I have done that. You broke every agreement you made with Native Americans. Yeah, you sure have. <laughs> Texas, you stole from Mexico along with Louisiana, New Mexico, California. Absolutely. So a lot of them are afraid that the uh, roosters are going to come home. 
<laughs> old Malcolm X turn. That, that's what they're afraid of. But it, it, but honestly, it's not going to go down like that, though. No, it's we not. have no, you know, and most people we have no need for retribution and, and trying to get revenge for for that. I mean, we would like our promised forty acres in the mule because that's power and land, right? Uh, which y'all uh, uh, Lincoln reneged on. <laughs> the government reneged on they did. Uh, we we like a, a little a little bit of justice, you know. A couple of hours in our pocket. I ain't talking about no stimulus. I'm talking about something we could feel. Right, right. Some land, some this, some that, you know. Uh, but we have no wish for y'all to be slaves. That's the crazy part. We wish no ill will on you. We so really why? don't. But the, it's it's about dominating, man. We it, just it, wish it, your ass fair. Yeah, it's about dominate. They don't want fair. Yeah. They want to be dominant. That's why they they trying to knock every diversity thing down. Yeah, because they don't know. Well, why do you need diversity? Then that's not fair. Well, you know what? You exactly right. You should not need a diversity program. <laughs> but we gotta but, have one. Yeah, because you won't be honest. <laughs> Hiring practices, firing practices. What's taught? You will not be honest, so you have to be forced to be. Right, yep. that's where diversity comes. It's like they say, "Why do you say black lives lives matter? All lives matter." You exactly right. All lives do matter. We should not have to say black lives matter, but unfortunately, we do. Yep, we have to see it to y'all and us. Yep, because <laughs> <laughs> I said to a nigga, quick, you pull out some on me, man. Black lives matter. Yeah, you know we we mm, you know so don't don't y'all taking it wrong, man. But we talking about that diversity and other stuff, man. So, uh, oh God, a trans woman. Uh, I guess it was a man being a woman was a, apparently jumped on and beaten at uh, doing Kanye West's uh, period at the Rolling Loud concert, uh, and it was, it was bloodshed, man. Got the video up, man. Oh, it, wow. it was a few people jumped on her, or him, or however they want to be known. And uh, that's never a good thing. Yeah, why don't they uh, leave yeah. them people alone? Man? And see, you know, you know, that's what kills me about people sometimes too. Because they say, "Well, you know, Barack and wrong Democrats because they got the gay lesbian thing." Here's the thing: I don't have to agree with a lifestyle, but they got a right to live their lifestyle. But they have like a right. <laughs> if we need a law to tell you not to touch people because of what they claim they are boy girl don't matter then we got a law for it right just like we need a law for black people to say you can't hang niggas right right it don't mean i agree with nothing or whatever it's saying that we all should be afforded protections right i shouldn't walk up and be able to just slap the taste out of your mouth because you say you jehovah's witness Right, I, I don't understand what the problem is, and I guess it's that old saying: people fear what they don't understand. I mean, if that if that's the way that mm-hmm. man chooses to live his lifestyle, vice versa, if that's the way that man chooses with it. his lifestyle, then that's on them. We can we all gonna be judged. What is wrong? And that's that's with America. It doesn't matter if you're friends. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter if you're married or you know. Democrat but what's wrong with agreeing to disagree? Just like I don't have to agree with your lifestyle and we can just say you okay, mess with we disagree. Me. But live your life. That's you. Go be happy with doing it. That's all it is, cuz. And but then you got people out there because they don't like what you're doing. Then they want to sit yeah. there and do all kinds of stuff to sit there and put a monkey wrench in it or, yeah. or stop it. You don't have that right to do that. Leave these people leave. Was, I don't care if it's black or yeah. if it's gay. Man, leave the other people alone, man. Go live your life. Let yeah. them live there. Because what's so sad about it, they do these things in the name of Christ, oh. in the name of patriotism. And it ain't none of it Christian. No. Ain't none of it patriotic. No. It, in fact, it's cowardness. Mm-hmm. It's really what it boils down to. Absolutely. It's a bunch of cowardness. Absolutely. Jordan Banks said that. Ain't no problem with it. Fuck Honestly, I be trying not to cuss, man. But y'all, <laughs> yeah, y'all some clowns, man. It, it, it's cowardness. It's, it's it's like bullying. Yep. Just because you can, until that bully, you know, the bully get punched in the mouth. Yeah. Which I'm all for. And they, they'll be the one. Me and Charles Barkley will turn this one up. <laughs> they'll be the one that will walk up behind you, want to hit you, and all kinds yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah. Because they're the head on. That coward They want to do it by themselves. All we got to be in the pack. And they want to yeah. shoot you. Yeah. You know, yep. hey, this guy ain't got no hands no more. 
Oh yeah, they they scared them hands, yeah, baby. This generation ain't got no hands like that. Man, man they, they they scared of ass whooping. Man, <laughs> <laughs> be like pops and barber shot. Be put that gun down. You did. You, you get the lid for another day. Exactly. Hey, that's real talk. But speaking of uh, that, and uh, this, I guess this portion must be the violence portion because. Uh, 11 year old boy in Chicago, man. This right here, man. I'm bringing toward the to Jordan Bank eyes, man. 11 year old boy in Chicago was stabbed to death trying to protect his pregnant mother from her ex boyfriend who had just been released from jail. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all boogalooing down in Miami right now, causing havoc. <laughs> Man, the peak with these. Y'all, y'all focus on the wrong thing, man. man. They focus on the wrong thing. It's a lot of crate, man. And they wonder why people are so protective over their kids these days. <laughs> He's trying, little boy, trying to protect his mama. Mm-hmm. God, that's that's. Well, like I say, man, this must be the violence part of the show because uh, here we go. This one down there brought a tear down the other eye, Jordan Banks. <laughs> <laughs> 19 year old twin sisters Cute little girls man uh, They at the bodega up in Brooklyn It's about 1, 2 in the morning The fellas come through They try to holler at them Try to holler at the little girls The girls no nah, I'm, I'm good So since they got rejected They stabbed the girls up <laughs> One of them died Wow One of the twins died Man, we gotta get off this stuff, man. Oh my god, man! <laughs> the, the news is depressing. You, you have to think about put yourself in there and say, "Well, if that's your daughter, right?" Ain't nothing to say to the boys, man. I, I get, I get, I get within sight. You, of you them. can go and make that special place in hell for me or them, my twins. Yeah, I, 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 I get within yeah. sight of them. It, yeah. it, it got to, it got to go down. Yeah, the uh, vigilante. I, yeah, that's where I. <sighs> I never, they never had me in court. <laughs> you ain't got to. <laughs> You ain't got to. I'm doing something to go to jail with him. Yeah. I'm going to see you there. I see you at Rikers. Exactly. We're going to get down every day. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, man. That's that's like, wow. And, and But it's guys out here like that, man. Girl, don't talk to you. She ain't even disrespect you. Man. She's just like, I'm good. I got a man, whatever. Right. You you can't take reject. You're going to just stab him up. Right. Like, like you ain't never heard no before. <laughs> they heard no when they looked in the mirror. Yeah, and they you? heard and they saw it. <laughs> who is you to sit there? <laughs> These suckers. All right, man. Come on. Give me something. Give well, me something. I'm going to tell you something, man. R. Kelly, you back in the news, man. <laughs> Speaking of no, he's suing the Bureau of Prisons over seizing his commissary funds. <laughs> hey, y'all y- 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 dirty, though, man. That's wait dirty, wait man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, just, I got to say this. That's so dirty. You ain't got no money, but you can sue over not getting your money. Well, <laughs> you got to pay the lawyers. Well, you know, you, you, you get a lawyer to take it. It's, it's a good case they may figure, and you know, because he had a couple hundred thousand, I think, you know, right. And they took it for these suits and things. I think, but there's a certain amount of just. <sighs> I'm just tripping off, man. Yeah, I'm going too far. I ain't, I ain't got no money, but I'm gonna sue you because you won't let me have my money. <laughs> People do a pro bono, man. I don't know. Yeah, but no. The the crazy part is, is if you ain't got no money, then how you got commissary? You ain't got no money. How you gonna sue because you ain't got no money? Well, that, that's the problem. They took it out his commissary. That's the whole point. You ain't got no money though. I mean, rightfully so. If he did what he did, them girls are they earned that. They they supposed to get that, so you ain't got no money. How you suing? He paid you got no money. <laughs> he paid. Did you not see the video? He paid them prostitutes. <laughs> they were just twelve year old prostitutes. Shit, Well, Kelly always paid when he laid. I'm I'm saying like this. I'm telling you, I, I, I ain't mad. It, it's just funny. That's all. Yeah, I'm giving me a T-shirt. Say, R. Kelly paid when he laid. <laughs> He wasn't no cheap nigga now. <laughs> you saw the video. I mean, you know one he was sitting there practicing mm-hmm. with that little girl came, he gave, he gave her money. <laughs> that prostitution. <laughs> Oldest profession in the world. It's a kid, man. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. We ain't in Mexico, man. But that kid got compensated. <laughs> we ain't in Mexico, man. <laughs> that kid knew enough to take. Thank you. 
I mean, the parents probably put up to it. Then he pissed on the head. I mean, you know, I, I don't know what to you say. Know it. I'm not figuring out what to say, bro. I'm not figuring that with you. Y'all wrong, man. Y'all could have left that man a couple of hours in there. <laughs> Y'all could have left Kales a couple. I mean, he, he, he got to pay for protection. How you going to pay for protection? <laughs> <laughs> he got took out his commissary. You know, them pack of noodles. You know, they can buy him an hour or two, you know. You know what? Here, here's the funny <laughs> part about it. If he did, if he did what he said he did, and the parents didn't put their kids up to it, don't you think it'd be a daddy that's trying to get the same jail cell with him so he can check? <laughs> they don't want that. Because they know they sent them. Exactly. They that's know the whole point. <laughs> I, I I said it and I said it again. I always said mm-hmm. you can't traffic solo. Mm-mm. Trafficking involves it's a, it's multiple a, people. It's a whole lot of people. That's a prostitution of ring. Yeah. It requires a, multiple yeah. people. Yes, government and uh, officials alike. It's a lot of people that belong there, right next to him. Yeah, including some of these parents. I, I, now, I ain't mad. He got the time. Yeah, you, you did the crime. You got to do the time or kill it, no matter how I feel. Yeah, I'm missing some of that leg shaking, leg shaking. You know, <laughs> I, 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 ah! right, 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 right. But. I have to be realistic. Right. You did the crime. They say it's a crime. You Even though we, we, we saw you pay them hoes. But you did the crime, bro. <laughs> but y'all wrong on that commissary, man. Y'all could have left him a couple thousand or something, man. He got to pay for protection. I just, I, like I said, I don't see how. <laughs> you ain't got no money. You're going to sue yeah. somebody over. You ain't got no money. Every time somebody come to the cell, they saying, I don't see nothing wrong. He like, hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's ain't a roll above the like ground. That. It's a roll <laughs> above the ground, bro. I'm a changed man. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm going to tell you something else. <laughs> somebody you ain't happy, man. <laughs> Oprah, man. Well, mm-hmm. Kerry Washington showed up at an event. They had some type of event. And, uh, I don't know exactly which event it was, but. Oprah and, and and Tyler Perry showed up. That was a fifty fifth. Was it? Oh, it might have been. Yeah, ran right into uh, Kerry Washington. She she dapped up Tyler, hugged mm-hmm. him, talked to him. Oprah went to try to get a hug. She Kerry Washington was like, "Eh, now nah, she curved the boy, curved what? the hard." What? Oh, the video is a curved the hard, bro. Oh wow, wow! I was like, whoa! Not, not Oprah. Oprah used to have that glow on her. She ain't that shine coming off now, man. Cause I guess black Hollywood, the women, man, they feeling like Oprah controlling oh, some of them purse she, strings. She ain't got that glow like Last Dragon. She ain't got that no more. <laughs> oh man, and, and uh, they fit. They feeling the way right now, man. Oh, wow, the sisters is feeling the way. Mm-mm. <sighs> Oprah ain't got that glow no more. Last Dragon. Damn, Oprah. <laughs> Well, man, I'm tell you, we we moving right along, man. Uh, because it's time for a little watch party. Oh, shit. that's all I know is a little watch party. Who we got to watch? <sighs> well, cuz Big John, I hate to do it, <laughs> but I got to be honest. Sometimes I got, I got you got to be honest, man. You got, it, it, it's fair play around here. This must be somebody I like. <laughs> well, not, not necessarily, but it's a hometown hero. Okay. Sexy Red, we got to watch it. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, man. What we got to watch it for? Please. I don't know if she used all the money she carried around on Uber. I don't I don't know what's going on. We got to watch old Sexy. And, and like I say, she's from the hometown. Mm. Uh, normally high school graduate, they say. Uh-huh. 25 years old. They say 25, but, uh, you know, that's suspect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two kids, you know. Two fathers, not married, but, you know, a lot of people go through that. Right, right. People will say she young. She got the raunchiest lyrics in the game. Okay. I ain't never mad at nobody's success. In fact, I like some of your songs, Sexy Red. I just don't like my eight-year-old girl to like them, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you're 18, 12, and understand as parents, you got the sense of your kids. You got yeah, to have absolutely. that control. Absolutely. The Sexy Red. I ain't necessarily seen the talent. And to me, success or what people think is success with money and doing things ain't always success. Right, right. It has an expiration date. But everybody want to wear the crown. I understand it feels good to wear the crown. Uh-huh. But sexy. I'm watching you. Uh, like I say, not that I don't like you, uh, but... You know, uh, you say you were somebody who were raped. 
a lot of things happen to you. You got to think about these things when you're up there pumping, grinding, and ba ba ba. And you know, you famous for Pound Town song and and and, and slept me out. Right. And you know, I, I posted a thing recently where Doctor Umar was saying that uh, people who've been assaulted basically are promiscuous, mm-hmm. or they 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 have these things. And, and she seems to be a very promiscuous type of person and you know including with the videos that she's shown sleeping with somebody this and that uh the things she do the things she say so i think there's a lot of hurt there okay and i ain't trying to change the sexy red i'm just trying to make you a little more responsible just a little bit because right. i'm happy for your success as i say from the hometown but if you go any farther <laughs> drake ain't gonna be able to say you <laughs> so ain't gonna be able to do it. Got to watch her. Right, so we we got to keep eye on you, Red. We gonna <laughs> keep a careful eye on you. See how you go. You still young, but that ain't always no excuse. <laughs> Tupac died at twenty five. Was mm-hmm. biggie twenty four, twenty five. Yeah, ain't nothing promised. So when we talk about this, I don't want to hear y'all all in the comments. Some I I comment no, nah, that's the home girl. She from the hometown. We talking to a real baby girl. <laughs> it's time to stop getting slutted out Okay Even Aiden Ross say he slutted you out The little white boy Now I don't know if it was real or not <laughs> But baby girl Just calm down just a little bit For the ladies here Show them that there's another way It's something else Mm-mm. Maybe you're stacking your chips You're going hard right now I don't know <laughs> But baby girl Baby girl Baby girl Trust me all that you putting out right now, they're going to throw back up in your face and put you to shame within, I'm going to say, two years. Because you, you ain't exactly got the Nikki talent, like, can really, really go. Right. You you good at what you do. It's more like Kaya. You know. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not dissing. All right? Because I know, I probably know some of your folks. You graduated from Normandy. I'm from Wellston, baby, right there. So I ain't saying this out of malice. I'm saying that I love, but I'm gonna have to watch your ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't think she'd make that list. <laughs> yeah, bro, I got to do it for my little little ladies out here, man. The little ladies got to have a voice, you know. Somebody got yeah. to champion a voice for them too. And some of this stuff we doing, man. Yeah, we we taking our eye off the prize, man. Right, right. They 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 killing us. Uh. Hell, we dying from heart disease, cancer right. still. We number one everything. STDs running everywhere. Right, and you right. running around talking about slut me out. <laughs> and these little girls running around here and saying, pound town, my booty hole brown. Now, <laughs> it ain't your responsibility necessarily. But baby girl, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm telling you, it may not look like it now, but it's going to come back, circle around. Bite your ass. I hope your business side is taken care of. Because right. that's what's the most important. Yep. Business. So there go that master class. <laughs> well, th- there go that watch party. Now here come the master class. <laughs> we on roll today, boy. Well, yeah, John, I got a lot to say, man. Some people say I talk too much. Some people say you don't talk enough. I don't know. Well, John, this master class is called The Hood Has Failed Us. <laughs> and we don't care. <laughs> now we don't care. That's what it seemed like, bro. <laughs> well, uh, you know, everyday life happens. Unfortunately, we live in a world where we can't pick perfect. It ain't never going to be that way. But somehow in the hood, I ain't going to say the hood. In the African-American community, We've chosen to totally ignore the dysfunction, the violence, murders, rapes. Our kids at school is going 20% on the state test. <laughs> they are chewing chalk and glue. It's not chalk. Right? Selling fentanyl on the side of the juice bottles. <laughs> and we've just chosen to totally ignore it, and we're steady going down. Say, so turn our head on. Huh? Cause in the black community Or y'all know it's the hood We just don't care 
somehow the gangs have started and, and, and they, they, they've taken over even the airways podcast and telling y'all kids what to do, how to act. Yeah, everything on four them and five them and six them. I don't know what all that mean, but it don't sound like English. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't English, right? You know, uh, uh, you know, it used to be gang started as protection. They ain't protection no more. Mm-hmm. They ain't protection no more. You know what I'm saying? We got the don't snitch policy. Don't talk to the police. It's going against us. <laughs> we got crab in the barrel mentality still going. Everything that we not supposed to do in the hood yeah, is going. Weird. Is beating us down. Mm-hmm. Even more, John. We not allowed to grow even on a platform like this. Right. We not allowed to grow up and be men because mm-hmm. we can't talk about the girls. We can't talk about the kids because we real men. <laughs> See, you don't want no guidance for real. Right, right. You want what you want when you want it. <laughs> and the shit ain't right. Right. Because the hood going there. Now, I'm going to tell you, no way till I get my million or two and then come to me. You want to come to the meeting? No. Nope. <laughs> because when I was there for all that time, y'all ain't going to listen. Now you see me with a couple of dollars. Now that's what you're interested in. Mm-hmm. But that's our problem. We're too interested in that. We don't know how to take that power and do something positive with it. But you know what, John? They ain't listening. They don't care. That's the math class. They ain't listening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Man, we, we, we getting bad in the hood, man. It's getting bad out here for us, man. Yeah. It's getting bad. I, I'm 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 tired of it. I'm I'm so sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all niggas. But John, we're gonna go ahead. This is cause some of them ain't even sober out here. We're going to a little sobriety <laughs> shit. Go on to a little sobriety what shit. What we got? What we got? What we got? Well, oh god, oh this nigga, old oh, money Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather. He, now he was my one of my favorite boxers. He he goes to Israel to visit. Floyd been quiet. What he do now? He, he ain't never quiet. <laughs> that nigga went to Gucci last week And spent 7 million dollars And taped it all He ain't never quiet <laughs> Floyd is the definition of the loudest nigga in the room <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't heard much I ain't mad at him cause he earned it and He ain't steal and he ain't robbed nobody Why you guys spend 7 million though? Maybe the cable subscribers But he wouldn't hit nobody either. Right. So hey but he flew over there to Israel like they all do and pretend like they give a shit about Israel. Average American don't care about Israel. They don't even know why we're such good friends with Israel. Right. They don't know. It's some sacrilegious shit. That's all it is. <laughs> so he, he goes to the wall and pray. <laughs> this is him at the wall. <laughs> so he went and put on the show. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to the western wall to pray Here's what I'm going to tell y'all Even if y'all can't afford to go to some of these lands Jordan Jump in the water <laughs> like Whitney and Bobby <laughs> Come up crack free <laughs> For about 10 minutes <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Until they get back to the room <laughs> right. Y'all could go walk around the great wall Seven times or Seven times 70 Y'all could go stand at the gates of beautiful it, it, It's a show <laughs> Floyd, you could pray at home. It's a show. You ain't serious. <laughs> did, I mean, did you go find a church home after that? Did, did they, they? They must have been recorded. Or, or better yet, like Jesus told the guy, you know, you won't follow me. Go sell it all and follow me. Did you go sell anything, Floyd? No, you went and bought. <laughs> he went from the wall to the Gucci store. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Gucci Israel. <laughs> I mean, it's just a show. So is he drunk or so? No, he, he, had, he had a little something to drink. He had a little taste. He had a little taste. Yeah, <laughs> taste. Drink a little communion wine. I ain't never know Floyd to be a drinker. <laughs> Well, shit, speaking of boxing, this is Brody Check 2 or Ryan Garcia. Garcia, crazy ass, he back at it. You know, he got the big fight coming up with Devin Haney, but uh, Ryan Garcia says he knows who killed Tupac and he can prove it. Oh, my God. I think Tupac was dead before that nigga was even born. Uh, did, didn't they say they got the man in jail to kill Tupac? This nigga is crazy, man. I'm, you know what? Where I go, see, you're going to make me stop talking about you. I'm, you, 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 you about to be up there with Boosie. 
<laughs> Cause I don't want to talk about that black nigga neither. <laughs> you old Mexican nigga, man, y'all just crazy. <laughs> yeah, you need you need to taste too. <laughs> this, this Cause be- both of them do shit to just try to stay relevant. Just, right, right. And you ain't even got to do that, man. Right. Or maybe you're just trying to sell the fight. The fight gonna be what it is. <laughs> shit. Sell. <laughs> Ooh. Let me go to this white nigga. <laughs> Ben Shapiro, the conservative commentator, that, this motherfucker, he, see, y'all make me cuss, I'm trying not to. He got the nerd. His rich Jewish, yeah, they say Jewish because the people be, there's a stigma on that. But right, goddamn right. it, if they got a lot of money, they got a lot of money. <laughs> right, right. This Shapiro, he's on his soapbox of how America needs to raise the retirement age. Mother, you drunk. You mother Ain't you it already high enough They, they wanna kill you working You should work till you die There ain't enjoy. nobody working that long and hard But poor people Right <laughs> Now if I'm gonna be a politician Or something can sit in that seat Like old mumbling Mitch McConnell Then I can sit there And make three four thousand a year I ain't but doing that But that's the thing If they the, the more they let us retire The less money they earn Because the the, the, the workforce now Ain't shit compared well, to the ones That retire They need to make them folks In Congress retire mm-hmm. All y'all running at 110 All this and that <laughs> <laughs> I understand some experience, but doggone it, man! Man, and you there on your soapbox talking about raising the? Is you are you talking about raising the wages at the same time? No, just the retirement age, so you work till you die. And we live in a country that's so rich, we can afford to say when you reach sixty five, you no longer have a mortgage or rent where you stay. Yep, absolutely, you, you no longer have utilities. And we're going to send you a card, much like the food stamp card. We're going to put, if, if you got, it's just you, we're going to put at least 250 on there a month. Yep. And we'll go by a number. Of people. We got enough money to do that. But it, but they they stopped getting money on the table. Yeah. They stopped with they, with they, with they super packs and all that other little stuff. They stopped getting money. Yeah, yeah this, you know. This, this motherfucker drunk. Let me tell you something, man. They won't even let a man like, like Bernie Sanders say, hey, he proposing a four-day work week. You don't lose no pay. <laughs> Boy, they, them, 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 them white niggas tried to shut them down quick. Oh man! Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go to hell. That's how oh, they the do companies, it. man. I yeah, said that's, that's, how that, that's how they do that shit over in uh, Europe. They don't want that over here. We but we'll that. we'll go to Kuwait and liberate them. And guess what? They average about three work days a week. <laughs> Schools free, universities health 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 coverage free. free. <laughs> exactly. We are gonna liberate some folk who ain't man. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, Tupac said, "You can spend my money, send me to war, but can't feed me." <laughs> I, yeah, that's one thing we we need to get that together. Right now, that should be some America first type of stuff. Right, not not America isolated because that's what Trump want to do. There's a difference in America first and America isolated. Right. So, but yeah, that's <laughs> I, I can't do no more sobriety check because I'm fed up, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah everybody drunk this week. <laughs> well, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go with this then. What about little sports? So, according to reports, uh, quarterback Justin Fields, you know, he's going to Pittsburgh. Right, right. Russell's going to Pittsburgh. Right. So, everybody's saying, what the hell? Well, I mean, I, I don't see anything as a bad move. Well, and this, uh, Chicago's only getting a six round pick. Right for him. Well, it's but conditional if he plays. If he plays more than 51%, they get a right. fourth round or uh, right. whatever. But apparently, that wasn't on them as far as Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. They tried to get him to go to four other teams. He said, no, he want to go to Pittsburgh. Yeah. I honestly tell you the truth, Super Bowl quarterback that's that's proven that he done done it and Russell Wilson is a great guy, I would have chose that situation. If I was Russell, I'd have called that little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, bro? Because <laughs> I'm only going to make like a million, you know, whatever. Right. Middle. Shit, Russell's still making 38 from the Denver Broncos. He could have well, yeah. took a free contract and still came out. Yeah, he got paid out. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but still, man, that's the point, man. Ain't do that to me, man. But whatever. See, I always thought if I'm Chicago, I stay with my man one more year and I grab more of a Harrison Jr. number one. Because if all this fails, you can move Justin later. You still got Marvin Harrison Jr. Now you're going to miss out on a potential Randy Moss-ish type player. Yeah. Who you could have got any, you could have got Jimmy Guapolo to throw him the ball. <laughs> but they, they, they ain't do too bad with two, one, two, two pickups they got. With DJ Moore and uh, 
Yeah, but and, uh, you, Keenan you, Allen. You still need something out there scary, right? And that Marvin Harrison Jr. He may potentially be a, the scariest nigga since Randy Moss, right? So. I, I just I wouldn't have went that way with it, but whatever. Well, one thing I am glad about, man. What's that? The federal government said enough is enough. What they what they what they said enough enough about? Oh man, these places like McDonald's and such, mm-hmm. they say y'all need to get them ice cream machines fixed. Now, <laughs> <laughs> they said the American people had enough. These ice cream machines is always broke. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what they need to do. If they just cleaned the motherfuckers right, <laughs> then they would work. But when you got all this <laughs> gunk and shit in there, and you don't clean it right, and all that, you know they need to be health inspected. Sprinkles more. and shit off. Hey, yeah. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with the damn machine stuff. They need to be clean. Now the only one you can really count on all town quick trip. Yeah, <laughs> but quick trip's just sitting right there. You can see it cleans with. Right, they grill right there back there. Cleans the whistle. Cleans the whistle. McDonald's hide they grills. Oh shit. yeah, they put a big ass wall up. You can't. Man, if you, you, you can't in the drive around that. Man. You in the drive through Pico? You see fried <laughs> hamburgers all on the floor. They run a hamburger. They might pick it up off the floor. Put it on you. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> come uh, on, no, man. no pickles. They gonna take what's up there. And shit. Mm-hmm. They gonna take the pickles off there. Some bitch. I know. I used to work there. <laughs> 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 Motherfuckers say no, no pickles. Your manager should go here. Take That's the pickles. Take the pickles off there because people. Pull up And they think Oh I'm gonna get no pickles Or no onions Cause they gonna make it fresh Right no. Nah Your man she gonna say Here take the pickles off there yep. You tell take them pickles off And that's the deal. <laughs> See, that's why I, And that's why I like Especially like breakfast Cause I'm allergic to eggs That's why I check my shit Before Bro. I leave You can tell when the residue Is on No I need yeah. a new sandwich And I will hand that shit back yeah. Just get my money Don't worry about it <laughs> you mess around and ask for some fries without salt, you be gonna die. They gonna get it anyway, <laughs> right? Like I said, that's everybody shake these fries off. That's why I mean I am one of the ones. Anybody know me? I don't mess with it's fast a, food too much. Man. All you got to do is put them fries in a bag, shake them, leave them right there. Saltless fries. That's messed up, man. That we used to do some that. I don't want to hear no more about this, man. <laughs> that's that's some bullshit, boy. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, man. It's doing some stuff. Uh, people are calling for the cancellation. Some people calling for the cancellation of that BMF series. Why? The bitch, me. Because they say if you're going to make something based off reality, then make it as realistic as far as historically as possible. Uh-huh. So what do they do? Because they want to make the show seem hard. Because the mm-hmm. acting is terrible. Okay, I ain't never watched it. So I tried to watch it. I can't. Fifty Cent shows I generally can't watch. They, they that know. ghost thing was. I cool. was. I was. I was a fan of Power, uh, especially yeah. the first one. Uh, ghost, After that, that was it. Ghost for was me. cool. I don't know the one with Tommy and Force. <sighs> um, mm. I like it because I like Tommy, yeah. and so I. But yeah. yeah. Well, let me tell you what happened. So now they go to the this the genre in this era where it's really like nineteen ninety one. Okay, or whatever with me and them, but they bring in a Tupac lookalike who's like a 1996 version. <laughs> it don't <Okay>. even match. <laughs> and people was like, "How you gonna make pot? This this the pot? That pot you talking about in that era would have been even before Juice. He had her and right. you know mm-hmm. high school isn't that? They they took him to the death row Tupac." Like with the bald and the earring, and, and, and him and Meech and that, like Meech is just cool with him, man. But you ain't never heard that story in your life, never. <laughs> so if you're gonna embellish, like a lot of things are embellished, but you gotta kind of stick to like that's why I used to like like the wire and things because when you cross certain people and things, you die. Right. Fifty Cent shows you live forever. I don't know. He was handing out headshots in the first pile. Headshots like crazy. <laughs> Yeah, to those insignificant. Well, yeah, that's true. On on on, on no, a wire and, no, and snowfall no and shows like that, they get rid of main guy if it's some bull. Yeah, you done crossed up everybody. You no, got to go. No king lasts that long. If 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 you got a kingpin that lasts that you long, you got a year or two. He's not in the limelight. Yeah, you got you got a year or two. But if you got somebody in the limelight, yeah, they don't not last that long. That's it. A yep. year or two. Yep. That's it. Well, uh, that's that's what people calling for, man. <laughs> well, uh, I tell you what, man, I can see. What, I said people don't like you talk about the Cowboys, but I can see why they ain't making no work to help them Cowboys. <laughs> so, I don't uh, think they know what they're doing. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So now this girl, her name Joey Joe, whoever I don't follow the chick uh, Joey Chavez, whoever she has a baby with Future and she has a baby with Bow Wow. 
Okay. Well, apparently she's pregnant again by Trayvon Diggs. <laughs> Hey, you can't get mad at her, man. She handling her business. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. She handling her business. <laughs> I, I, I can see why they ain't going no damn where. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they too distracted. They, they too busy in them streets. <laughs> but the one dude who left her said that. He said, right. hey, that's, it's like a shit show. Right. Like in a locker room, this mm-hmm. and that. But they so privileged. They they the America's team. So it's like, oh, yeah, yeah but they ain't really... Right, committed right. in the way that they should, should be. be. Right, like the Niners have always been business like. Right, they gonna go by the bit, and they even picked up some pretty good picks too, man. But uh, man, yeah. anybody, anybody trying to talk about that today, man? I'm just saying. They, 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 they'll be on the watch party hey, next week. Hey, Ain't nobody sure trying to this shit. So we'll put that. I'm gonna tell you, we we'll put Dak Prescott ass on there because the <laughs> Dallas police have opened up a probe into these sexual. Assault allegations against his ass. Oh man, him and Deshaun watching on the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> now, now that gonna come and try to beat, gonna beat it. He gonna put out a thing first. I'm trying to. Get, they're trying to extort me. Yeah, yeah, right. You knew they would come. <laughs> you knew they were coming. Mm-hmm. He was on some of that See, Deshaun Watson shit. <laughs> you remember when Michael Irvin them back in the day? <laughs> Mike was busted in a hotel room. That right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that Dallas for you, bro. Like they got arrested in that fur coat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dallas for you. Coming out, I ain't did nothing. <laughs> no, <Nose> your white. <laughs> I ain't did nothing. Mm-hmm. All right, Mike. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, re- he didn't rebuild his image. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. Uh, well, uh, New Orleans police chief says that uh, you know they got a rat problem in the building. Uh, she said the rats are eating all the marijuana in that producer room. Oh wow! In that room. she said they all high. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all the mice are they, high. They, they, they didn't make the movie Cocaine Bear. <laughs> I went, what, what, I went with a bunch of high rabbits because you know, not rabbits, rats. rats right? Because rats are bad enough. Hey, you remember that movie back in the day? They called I, I was, Ben. No, not Michael that. Jackson. No, not that one. It was about a movie about the rats taking over, eating up people, and all this shit back in the day. No, I wouldn't watch no shit like that because yeah. I don't like rats. Yeah, it was a movie out about some shit like that back in the day. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, the population who they got to the point they were trying to eat people and shit. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'd do because rats can do everything. Well, they can swim, they can climb, they eat through shit. Well, I mean, well, god. well to think about what they do if they high. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My it. clip would be like empty I every said, day. Like I said, another movie like Cocaine Bear. <laughs> well, bro, uh, we're about to get out of here, but uh. <laughs> Get this last one off, man. Just, <laughs> this must be something. May, may, maybe this is just why uh, Jason Kelsey retired. Uh, <laughs> word is his dog Winnie passed away. It, that made the news. <laughs> yeah. Wow. His dog Winnie passed away. Uh, 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 our condolences to Jason. Yeah, I'll give a fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, I heard that. Boy. <laughs>